<laughs> uh, right, okay. Um, that'll do. Right, we're heading into 8.45 IMSA race. Done about 10 of these this week. So we are in good practice. In really good practice, to be fair. Nope, okay. It's been fun all week. Most races have been clean. Incredibly tight. It's been enlightening. At Montreal, at least, the Porsche is strong. Real strong. The C8 doesn't dominate as much as I feared. BMW is still tricky. But generally speaking, Porsche is, is delivering on what I want it to do, so we'll stick with that. I'm at delivery now, so I, there's no going back. I'm not going to pull my finger out and get another one done. Porsche is absolutely flying. Or, or it just fit, or it just fits me down to down to the last grain of sand. Right, we're already um, we're already late to quali, so I'm gonna just swap over to quali set, and then we'll get on it on it. Okay. Crew chief is not running. Come here, you. Gonna need you. Definitely gonna need him with all these LMPs around. All right, here we go. Hit lane speed limit is 64 kilometers per hour. All clear. Push now. Okay, Daniel. We've got two laps to set a decent time. One of the um, one of the little vibrated motors on the pedal set has worked itself loose. I can sort of hear it sort of rattling away. I've got a post-it note wedged between it and the little clamp that it comes in because it was already a little bit off. So uh, should probably do something about that. Yeah, I think it's dangling loose, just spinning around on its own, having a great time. Sugar. Oh, that's one collie lap down the uh, down the drain. There's a little divot on that curb. That curb is sort of dropped, and it's an angle curb, so it's not a flat curb. You can't just ride it up against the wall. It's actually got a little bit of a ditch or a gutter that, if you hit it in just the wrong way. It'll spit you out a bit like the um, 
the kerb on on the spar s's right well that's down the drain then we're going to make the next one count and all we're going to be uh starting from the back he says as he goes uh quitting the grass Let's set ourselves up for a good and then. I think we're gonna be uh, I think we're gonna be starting from the midfield. This doesn't feel very hooked up at all. Stay away from that curb. I've got no idea what this lap is going to be, but it's not going to be a good one. It's gone wrong in many ways. As soon as I'm over that line, I'm blooming see, uh, figuring out whether that motor has come loose. Right, we've got one minute to figure out whether that's come loose or not. No idea. Total mystery. I think it's something uh, that's the end of the session. Mechanical. It's probably my homemade wooden pedal plate about to explode mid race. Seventh could be better. It has been better in the past, but it just means we're going to get to do some overtakes, hopefully. Here we go then. So the plan here, the plan pretty much depends on how the traffic falls. In the previous race, there was a train of about four, five, six cars that were all in the same pace. So we were at the back of that tail. We pitted early, 
earlier than we actually could have done and then ran a lean map for the rest of it but that meant that we could lap in clean air then and it actually pitted us behind all the LMP runners which always costs you time and just in front of the GT3 field which was ideal when we turned Celsius. turned an eighth into a fifth through that method Follow car number nine in the left corner. But that was best case scenario, yeah. You know, it kind of worked out for us that one. Right, this grid is going to take a little while to get going because they always leave the LMPs a bit of room to start with. But we need to be prepared for a bit of chaos. Okay, Daniel, get ready. Right, leaders booted it. We're going to lose the position, but that's fine. Green, green, green. Just need to survive. We've got plenty of time to fight. And there's already an incident of some form. Oh, hopefully that wasn't too big of a cloud. Big P5 has been to in. Wall of Champions. Clear right, right side. Sort of feels a bit superficial, but you can never really tell. Right side's clear. Car right. Still there. This is not a good position to be in. Still there. There's an incident in. Turn four. Still there. He's still there. Someone alongside. Hold your line. What the heck's he doing? Clear right. On your right. Right side's clear. Okay, let's just pull this in. Looking monkeys, man. Okay. Let's get settled in. We got a bit of a clout then, but I don't think it's actually done any damage. I'll have to wait and see. That's the worst start of any race I've had so far this week. I've got a bit of catching up to do then. It's going to take a few laps to get onto the back of uh, Gonzalo Bueno and then Jorge Luis. Car feels fine, so just superficial. This car absolutely loves to wander, wander around under braking. That's the one thing it's um, prone to do. But you're not likely to lose the back end, but sometimes you can just drift a foot off a braking line, just naturally. Because all the weights at the back is trying to, it's trying to turn. So as so long as you're not asleep, Our beamer in front's got area damage, or it's got a no front bumper. P5 
So the pace is quite strong in this field. See if we can set him up for a uh, pass on a straight. BMW is still pretty strong in a straight line. Seemingly stronger than a C8. Side. But we can Clear break left. a hell of a lot harder. If that's one thing the Porsche has taught me this week, is that we well can done, absolutely Keep it up. scream under those brakes. And it Driver absolutely boots it out of a hairpin and back turn just there. It absolutely kicks. Next one. Our fuel window will open after 70 minutes. It closes at about 31 minutes. Yeah, we're making progress. Let's keep an eye on the relative to Sebastian. He's six seconds away at the minute. Looks like uh, Justin's had a slowdown. Free B. P8. Wish it wasn't the case, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass it up. A little bit scrappy into that. Looks like he had a bit of a wiggle as well. That curb, probably the most dangerous uh, piece of track. Yeah. 
didn't make it, didn't make that much ground against uh, Bueno. You're reeling, Bueno. In the gap is now 1.4. But Bujic seems to disagree. He thinks we did it right there. Is he had a slowdown? Looks like he has. That's annoying. I don't just want to be given the spots. Car left. Clear Fine. Left. Let's see if we can catch Sebastian along the course of the race. I didn't want that. Brilliant. Nice one. That was setting up to be a good chase then. Let's make sure I can keep him behind. The LMP2s will probably be catching up with us in a couple of laps as well. So that'll mix it up a bit. He's totally gone. Three seconds behind now. So we're on our own. Four seconds between us and behind. Seven seconds between us and in front. Really, at the minute, the smartest thing to do is to take advantage of all this free air. And go all the way down to the bottom of the tank. We're not going to catch Sebastian unless he has a, starts to fight with the guy in front.
There's little blue LEDs you can see either side of the steering wheel. Indicates when traction control is being triggered. They're also used to display front and rear brake lockups. Yellow is for rear, I believe. So you can see we had a couple of yellow LEDs on the um, on the two instrument clusters to tell me that the rears were locking ever so slightly. The point out behind is now like and then when we turned in, but the brakes are still held on, the front right locked up a little bit. Having a tiny bit of rear lockup is a good thing. A bit of cadence breaking. You're being caught by the LMP2 runners. Blue flag. Alright, we've got LMP2s coming upon us now. Okay, Daniel. The lap times are pretty consistent. So I've got to watch my mirrors and concede when necessary so that neither of us lose any speed. Blue flag. He'll probably pass on the outside here. Car left. Clear left. Yeah, York job done. That's one LMP safely by. They're like lemmings, really. you just got to get them through the door and then you can forget about them. Gap to Sebastian is 4.9, so he's had something's happened to him. He needs a couple more of them, and then we can start to fight. Just need to believe. LMP2 runner is going to pass us on that side, on the right side. Right. We've got quite a while before right. the next one. Judging by how far back he is, it'll probably be on the main straight, but there are three of them quite close together. See. Looks like they're on course to meet me amongst all the corners, which could hurt us a little bit. Still. Car behind's a faster class. Just have to deal with it. Alright, good. Looks like he was kind to us. All right. He didn't try and send it Clear up anywhere right. he shouldn't do. Blue flag. Left side. Clear left. The gap ahead is now 4.8.
Right. Yeah, three safely. We've only we've only lost nine tenths on our best se session best lap. We've got more traffic coming along. I'm going to let this guy go through. That way he can get through the corner quicker. Blue flag. And he's out of our way. 1.4 or 1.2 to the one behind. We'll have to see what he decides to do. No, classy. Plus we are actually faster through this section than most okay, enemies. There's a faster car approaching. I'm going to back off right. Right side's clear. and just slot in behind him. And the next one's probably going to pass on the inside here. Actually, he doesn't look close enough. No, he's going to do it on the next straight. There we go. And then we've got loads of time. I think that's all of the rumours. Slower car. But in many ways, if you're good at letting LMP traffic through, I'm not saying I'm good, I'm just saying it. The better the better you let them pass it through compared to your on your left. He's still there. Competition. He's still there. Clear left. Then that is that is effectively time you gain. Most of the time, the best way to do it really is to just. There's an incident in Wall of Champions. Incident. The car in front is pitting. Somebody's off. Blue flag. And I can't it's see. An incident in Senna. What's his name? We've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. There's a faster car approaching. B6. Yellow flag. Sector one is 0.7 off the face. Oh God. Sector two is 0.6 off the face. Sector three is 1.6 well, seconds. That curve off quite the a bit then. Blue flag. So I can't see Sebastian anymore, so did he just get sent into the other realm? Hard to say. Car left. Clear left. We're halfway home. Should be about nine minutes of fuel remaining. Yeah, we're Slower six. Fast car ahead. The gap to Bueno behind is now 6.9. It was six, so somebody just got mugged and beaten up by a bunch of LMPs. And we're going to follow this GT3 through. It's just quicker that way. Car left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. Yeah, so there's a casualty then. We can't even catch up and uh, try and fight Sebastian because he's not there anymore. You've just done a 134.27. Left side, clear left. A lap down LMP2 just came out of the pits. It's a faster class car behind. Could spell danger. Car right. Clear right. No complaints from me. No dives. Just left it to the straight. Normally when you get a lap down LMP or one that's just doing really badly, it's because they just not got the skill that you need to be an LMP.
minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. That last light was at 133.28. There's an incident in Senna. It looks like Campbell. So we've got a wounded C8. Car right. Air right. That's what you get for sounding like a paper aeroplane. If you get within 10 feet of a Corvette, you should be able to feel your nerve endings getting tangled up. But no, not with a C8. There's a faster class car approaching, with blue flag. Sixth place. about you mate, we think P5 has binned it in, turn 7, 5 minutes of fuel remaining for 5 minutes. Another freebie. Ah, Steve Phillips is up the road. Wonder what happened there, we'll have to have a, go back and have a look at that after the race. Just nobody around to fight. This is a massive, massive contrast to all the races I've had this week where it's just been fight pretty much from start to end, especially one I had earlier today. One more lap to run before we pit. Blue flag. There's a group of faster cars behind. The answer, Bueno, behind is increasing. It's now 8.0. On your right, right side's clear. Let's come in early. There's a faster class car approaching. Slow car ahead. This guy's and by early, I mean one lap, but we've got two LMPs behind us. 64 kilometers per hour. I just feel like dealing with it now. The race. Bueno, behind is pitting. 100 meters. 50 meters. 
15 minutes left. That lollipop man looks like he's not paying attention. White man is now in the lead. That's a bat marker ahead in the C8. It's the one we passed. Take care, there's a car approaching. We've got a GT3 on the inside line here. He might, right not, side. He might right. not see me. Go on then, if you go in. Either let me go, or go. The leader's pitting now. Just slows us both down, and I still need to overtake him. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. Incident in turn four. We think it might be Lewis. Just a hot lap and exercise then. P6.
Daniel. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Keep digging. seconds. Coming up on a slower class car. Incident in turn six. Looks like it's Lewis and Campbell. Oh, you're like, not exactly turned out to be a thriller, this is it. Right, Daniel, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. wrapped up in my own uh, little world then to notice that he was coming up on a relative A little scratch in the paint. That's all that was. Okay, Daniel. There's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. Slower class car ahead. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Off you go. Go and have fun with the rest of the field. Five minutes. 
minutes remaining, five minutes left. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. Sixth place. On your left. He's still there. Clear left. Blue flag. Looks like P5's gone off it. Senna, car left, clear left, yellow flag, watch out. I wonder what's happened to him, that's Adam Watson. Fella who pipped me to the Pro-Am champion by seven points. Behind is now 12 seconds. Out of like a thousand two hundred. Either he's lost it or he's been uh, it's been chucked off. Come on, Daniel. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. Oh, yeah. Looks like, <laughs> looks like he's been uh, shoulder barged off because he's just said thanks in the chat. And he was leading. He was leading the um, GT3s comfortably. So maybe with about two and a half minutes to go, he might be able to get that lead back, but not if he's got damage. There's an incident in Senna. You think it might be Whiteman? Blue flag. The gap ahead is now 2.9 seconds. That lap was at 133.38. Almost over. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Somehow, Sebastian Vic Carson is only three seconds at the road. So he's had a mistake somewhere. Something's happened to him. Okay, Daniel, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. There's an incident in the hairpin. Looks like it's Campbell. White flag lap. Last lap. That was a one thirty three point zero zero. Oh, we've got a squad of LMP3s now, so um, I'm going to back off.
and let them go through. We're not fighting anybody now, but they are. They're fighting to the last, last lap. It looks like they've had a, they've had a uh, close one, 4th, 5th and 6th. Looks like just two minutes left, two minutes to go. There's an incident in turn one. It looks like Whiteman. Incident in turn three. All right, it looks like he's... Um so Adam Watson had a tangle with Sebastian. P6, and there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Six was okay. I think that was a strong, that was a strong, strong field there. I don't know what we might have been able to do if we um, haven't got tangled up in all that nonsense at the start. But um, yeah, and it, pretty much on their own for most of that. Bit dull, but given the um, so what happened to um, what happened to Adam? Oh my god. That's bad, that is. So, the guy in, in front of us in his ETE field totally messed it up, went off. Surely, surely you could see that. Oh. Yeah, Adam was robbed. Completely robbed. And there we go through. We see him on the uh, on the grass wondering what's going on there. No good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like we've got a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a le uh, left hook. So, in an entire 45 minutes of action, we got one overtaking. And I cannot remember where it was. Oh, I think it was the uh, the lap after, lap after this one. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, just a classic case of the Porsche being really, really good on the on the brakes. Not much to comment. Barely anything happened. Just a clean-ish race once once uh, lap one was out of the way. We well, can't plan. You can't plan the action. You can only really do that in the league races, and uh, it's going to be a while till we see another one of those. A few weeks, most more, uh, most likely. But join us for the next one because that was pretty dull, wasn't it? Um, Cheers for taking a look. I'll see you next time. We'll definitely be doing more public races. So um, if you tend to partake in IMSA, then you're probably likely to um, 
we're probably likely to run into each other in the public sessions over the next week or two as I try and get my hands on the Porsche properly.